Hello students, in this video I want to show you how to test your motor driver board using an oscilloscope. So you are going to measure here the signals on the test points. You have tested the board already with a motor, so the jumper is set and you have applied here 9 volt to the board. So the red one is a plus 9 volt, the blue one is a ground. Um, in order to uh, test the board using an oscilloscope you have to add an additional wire here, this is a ground for the oscilloscope, so you have to put in here two ground cables into this terminal. Before I start with the measurement, you can test now the board again using here the motor. So what I do now is I just power on. Now the motor is running, but I will disassemble here the jumper, so the motor is a little bit annoying at the moment. And now I can show you how to connect the oscilloscope here to the board. First of all you need both probes from the oscilloscope, so from the yeah, first and the second channel, so the yellow and the blue probe. And what you are doing first is you connect here the crocodile clamp here to this ground, because this is oscilloscope's ground for both probes. So connect this here to this wire and now you can take each probe for the test points. Test point 1 and test point 2 must be connect connected here and now you see um, the connections are there and now I can set the oscilloscope to useful ranges and then I can start with the measurement. I have powered on the oscilloscope now and you see first setting is the voltage per division for each channel is here set to 500 millivolts. It's a little bit too low so I will go a little bit higher for each channel um, maybe up to 5 volts. So I have 9 volt power supply so I expect somehow in the range of 9 volts. Um, Next thing is the coupling maybe, so it's to DC at the moment, both are to DC. This is maybe also okay, you will see it next step um, that you can change this also maybe to AC in order to see first the signal. And um, the trigger is at the moment channel 1, seems to be okay. So let's see what happens if I switch on the power supply. Okay, now you see here the signals. This is test point 1, this is test point 2. And in order to see the function of the circuit, um, I just um, change the position here of the podium and you see the signal here especially is changed. If I change here the port, you see the pulse width, so this is called a pulse, is also changed. So we have here a method, it's called pulse width modulation. So we change the width of the pulse. And the minimum here is around about 1% uh, pulse width and the rest is pause. And the maximum is 99%, so we have a 99% of the whole signal. It's switched on now the pulse and I can also go to the middle. If I now set the jumper back again then the motor is running. You see are also some disturbances here in the signal but uh, what I want to show you is here if you change now the pulse width so you change the signal then the motor is here at the moment off, so we have only small pulses, motor is off. And if you have a longer pulse, here for example this position, then the motor is on the maximum speed. So this was the first test, here were the test points. What I do now is, last but not least, I change here the volt per division of channel 1. Um, to maybe 2 volts and move it a little bit down so I can see here a higher signal. And for the channel 2, 
Uh, I also can change now the volts per division, but you see it's also going up here a little bit. So I change here then um, the coupling to AC and move it here to this side, to this position of the screen. And now I can save th the signals here to the USB stick. Okay, that's from this side. So if you want to check this here, the measurement, then do this in this way. Good luck.